Here is an ode for polling day, with apologies to Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when those in power abuse it, yes, and plainly shit on you. If you can cuss and jeer when con men spout poo, but clinically dissect their spouting too. If you engage with those ideas you're hating and never rush to shout them down as lies, but being hated don't give way to baiting and still retain a twinkle in your eyes. If you can scream, then make your screams more artful. If you can think and think to think again. If you can greet the dire lot with laughter, yet understand it's more than just a game. If you can't bear the sheer untruth and hokum of this charade that takes us all for fools, and watch dismayed our politics so broken, yet troop with dedication to the polls. If your vote can't prevent the tossers winning in seats where the incumbents never lost, or won't affect who steps up for an innings as they haggle with democracy the cost. If you can curse their art as they continue to serve themselves as soon as polling's done, and protest that they need to change the menu, reject the dish that lets the mould grow on. If you would rally crowds to back the virtue of kicking lords and commons into touch, if twisted prose and shoving fiends don't spur you to vote for so-and-so or such-and-such, if you'd prefer a democratic ballot that gives us real say in how we're run, you're not alone, though not all share your palate, and, which is more, they'll say you're mad, you cunt.